Hi everyone, my name is Edith Wong, and on this episode on Book for Thought, we're going to talk about this book, Mythical Beasts, an Artist Field Guide to Designing Fantasy Creatures. If you want to skip the in-depth review, I'll just provide the TLDR here. I would recommend this book to people who are interested in creature designing. It shares the workflow of artists as well as tips and tricks into making an organic and authentic creature design that could possibly exist in the real world. It inspired me to take on these good habits such as research and sketches to understand more of the animal kingdom. And because they encourage so much sketches, the more you practice, the better you get. And I know that seems very cliche and very obvious but I feel like sometimes the obvious it can be dull it can be boring it can be it can be tedious that I personally never do any practice sketches because I'm just so lazy but because of this book and because of friends it really did make me see the importance of practicing so that's my summary and let's get on to the meat of the video right off the bat I want to say just how beautiful the cover of this book is. It's hardcover with their poster creatures plastered on it with an outline of gold leaf embedded in the art. The book is beautifully designed in terms of the layout. It is minimalistic, making its information easily absorbed by the viewer, which I think must be given credit. The book is not by one single artist, but by a collection of them providing their wisdom in creating each creature. The creatures in question are mythical and can be found in folklore originating from different parts of the world, from werewolves to chimeras to unicorns, mermaids, etc. I chose this book because I wanted to learn how to create my own twist in creature design, something that is organic and breathe in new life, a believable creature that could possibly exist in this world, to take the elements of their environment and how they would function in their new habitat. By taking everything into consideration, it inspires oneself to create something unique, it also helps to get a new perspective on how professional artists' work process is and how we can incorporate this into our own workflow as well. There is such a wide variety of creatures, and because there are so many monsters from different parts of the world, it was interesting how they researched the country's culture, past designs, terrains, animals, and studied them in order to make a monster that could live in those places. Artists also share some tips and tricks in drawing animals and how they would approach such a subject matter, and what they learned throughout their own research as well. The artists are of course credited and I followed them on social medias to also get inspired by their creations. To take a chapter as an example of the workflow, there were many beautiful arts to choose from but I chose the Chimera. It starts with field notes where the artist will study the animals that can be found on our earth as the artist is trying to create a believable creature. They will share tips on how to draw fur or scales more easily and realistically. Then there is the design process, where they will start doing experiments on different designs that pops up in their head. There is also a subspecies category, where the artist will play around with the idea of how it would look like if it were to live in different parts of the world. Then there is the final image of the project they were given. It's truly beautiful to see how it all came together. So that is my very quick review of this book. I really enjoy it. I honestly, I haven't even finished it, but there is just so much to sift through and comb through. It is beautiful and such an inspiration. I personally really like this book and if you do get this book, I hope you really enjoy it too. It is very educational, but it also makes for a very beautiful coffee table piece. Have you read this book? What do you think of it? Please comment down below. I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting me over the years and letting me do what I love. I share videos, tutorials, and reference photos for free for artists to use, so if you'd like to help make all of this sustainable, you can do so by pledging over at Patreon. Thank you. That's all for today. If you like my videos, it will help if you hit that like and subscribe button and share it to your friends who you think might find it helpful. Leave a comment too. All those will help so much with the algorithm. You can also join my Discord server and I'm trying to create a wholesome community. I also do live streams on YouTube and Twitch. All links are down below in the video description and that's all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!